Now that we know how to calculate moles using mass and molar mass, we're going to see how we can calculate and put all of that together with the Avogadro's number that we've looked at previously. We're going to look at a challenging problem, starting with, first, we have covered that moles mass and molar mass, they're related by the equation of moles equals mass over molar mass. We've also seen the conversion between moles and the number of atoms, molecules, particles by manipulating the Avogadro's number, either multiplying or dividing it. Now let's put them all together. We have mass and we have molar mass. If that's the case, if we're given that, then we can easily find the number of moles. We use this equation, n equals to m over m subscript r. Once we find the moles, we could easily find the number of molecules. And we use the Avogadro's number, which in this case, moles to molecules, the conversion would be multiplying by the Avogadro's number. Then lastly, we can calculate atoms. So inside a molecule, if they want to know the specific atom, like what we looked at in the previous example of the carbon atoms in a glucose molecule, then you just need to figure out how many atoms of what you're trying to find is actually in that molecule. So now let's combine everything that we know on this slide into a problem. The example is how many atoms of oxygen are present in 8.64 grams of carbon dioxide. So I'm going to leave this here for you. Um, take a pause and try to work this through yourself before revealing the solutions. All right. So as you can see, we're given the mass, right? We're given 8.64 grams. So since we're given the mass, we can find the number of moles. So in order to find the number of moles, then we use the equation of n equals to m over mr. We have to find what our molar mass is. So we figure out our carbon dioxide molar mass. That's 44 grams per mole. We simply put it in this equation to figure out the number of moles. And we get 0.196 moles. Again, there are three sig figs. So you have to keep your value to three significant figures. The second step is converting from moles to molecules. So moving from moles to molecules, we know that that conversion requires the multiplication of Avogadro's number. So we already found 0.196 moles of carbon dioxide. We multiply this by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23, and that gives us 1.18 times 10 to the 23 molecules of carbon dioxide. But you might think, okay, I'm done, and the problem is done. But take a look at the question again. The question is not asking you for carbon dioxide. It's asking you for oxygen. So we need to find the atoms of oxygen. So now we have to move from the molecules to the atoms. Now we have to think how many atoms are in that molecule. They're asking you for oxygen atoms. We see that in one oxygen, we have two atoms um, of oxygen in one molecule of carbon dioxide. This means from our first video, we need to multiply our value by two to figure out how many oxygens we have. And that is your answer. 2.36 times 10 to the 23 atoms of oxygen.